I'm Marianne Cushy, and this is your morning update for Thursday, April 1st. Anybody who lives in California and is over the age of 50 is now eligible to get their coronavirus vaccine. This impacts millions of people, but will you be able to find an appointment? Vaccine supply has been an issue from the very start, but Governor Gavin Newsom says he expects the amount of vaccines arriving in the state will almost double throughout the month of April, which means more and more appointments should be opening up across the county. And also the governor is among the Californians today to become eligible. And since he is, he's 53 years old. His office says he'll be getting the Johnson & Johnson vaccine today in L.A. County. As it stands here in San Diego, more than 21% of people 16 and older are now fully vaccinated and 35% have gotten at least one shot. And here's a look, a quick look at our latest coronavirus numbers. There were 290 positive tests reported across the county yesterday. No new deaths were reported. Those are the only numbers that we did receive from the county because of the Cesar Chavez holiday yesterday. Meantime, Johnson & Johnson, they've temporarily paused shipments of its vaccine after a large batch failed to meet quality standards. An ingredient in the vaccine made by Emergent Biosolutions did not pass quality checks. The drug maker says the Emergent factory had not yet been approved by the FDA in order to make part of that vaccine. Initial reports say the flaw ruined about 15 million future doses. Federal officials say the issue, though, will not affect the president's timeline to have enough vaccine doses for all U.S. adults by the end of May. Boy, is it a big day for Padres fans. Opening day kicks off this afternoon at Petco Park with fans in the stands for the first time in over a year. Because of COVID restrictions, the park will be at 20 percent capacity. Fans will be grouped into pods that will be spread out six feet apart. First pitch, 110 this afternoon, the game against the Diamondbacks. And here's more exciting news. Both Legoland and Belmont Park are reopening at 15% capacity. That's allowed under current restrictions. Walk-up ticket sales will be available, but parks must collect information from the guests for contact tracing. And the Maritime Museum of San Diego is resuming tours today. They'll resume their daily operations from 10 to 5, including self-guided tours and bay tours. Temperature checks, additional sanitation and disinfection measures will be in place. And we'll continue to bring you the very latest news right here at NBC7.com and on TV. And you can also learn more on our podcast. That's Today in San Diego, where we talk about the day's biggest headlines in less than five minutes. Stay safe, everybody, and have a great day.